Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. TikTok, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 Good afternoon, morning, depending on where you are. Uh, Flipman's Daily Live Wholesale and Real Estate without using your cash credit. It's Monday, June 21st. June is about gone just like that. Um, remember, uh, if you want to access my playlist, uh, a playlist of my videos categorized and depending on what the topic is, you can go to flippernard.com to access that. Um, if you want to get your properties comp for free, you can um, submit your deals to uh, permit your properties to comps101.com. That's comps101.com. Um, um, the number here, oh, the topic of today is uh, what's stopping you from wholesaling real estate? What is stopping you from wholesaling real estate? So uh, the topic today, that what it is, I'm sorry. The uh, phone number to text, pretty much anything you need, the contract, you want a partner, you need to know how to build a cash buyer's list, you want the closing detail sheet, text messaging, vacant houses, who owns it, you want to join my wholesaling, uh, real estate group on facebook probate leads it's all the words here so for the contract i've been using since 2003 text the word contract i give it away free and i show you how to fill it out for sellers and buyers you want to partner on deals just text 5050 if you have it under contract it's off market it's a great deal um yeah. um and you're dealing directly with the owner trying to build a cash buyer's list before you get started or if you have a deal on the contract, text the word cash to the 205-964-5243. Um, closing detail sheet. If you have a contract with the seller, have a contract with a buyer, and you're trying to get the deal closed, uh, make it easier for the title company or the closing attorney, text the word close to that number, C-L-O-S-E. Trying to learn how to text message to generate leads, the proper way of doing it. Text the word text, T-E-X-T. -E Again, uh, trying to figure out who owns that vacant uh, property while you're driving for dollars. Text the word vacant to the number. And uh, again, on the wholesale and real estate group, you're trying to network with others all around the country, even in your market. In a lot of cases, text the word group to the number, 205-964-5243. Uh, then we have the probate, you're trying to build, generate leads through pay probate lists. You can, you can uh, build a pre-probate list. Text the word probate to the number. Uh, the CRM, trying to manage your leads, manage your leads, organize everything, uh, separate your banner sign leads from your whole, uh, from your cold calling leads, from your deriving for dollar leads, from your text messaging leads, from uh, other wholesalers, then you need to create different lead pipelines to do so. So um, text the CRM to the number. Plus, you can reach out to sellers by phone. Well, I'm sorry, by text message, email, and ringless voicemail. But also, but with the press of the button, you can make a phone call to them that's recorded. Not only for you to refer back to, but if you have someone working with you or for you, such as a VA, a virtual assistant, then you could go back and listen to their conversation to see, number one, the information, obviously. But if they're doing what they should be, they need to adjust some things or if they're even doing it at all. All right, um, so text CRM to that. So we still have the uh, $1,000 giveaway. We've given away three weeks worth already to uh, three different winners, Ashley and, what was Ashley? She was in Greensboro, North Carolina, Travail in Milwaukee, and um, who else? And Adrian in, uh, in Augusta, Georgia. Okay, so. So you could be next. Uh, so text the word STEMI to the number and we'll go ahead with the topic for today. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, so we're live on TikTok. Uh, so the topic for today is what's stopping you from wholesaling real estate or wholesaling houses? Ooh, that could be a number of things. Um, probably the most common is simply not knowing what to do. <laughs> That'll stop you from doing a lot of things, right? Um, or shit, by simply not knowing what to do. But I have the answer for that because I give all the content, all the information, the tools that I think you may need to uh, succeed at closing deals. So we saw that problem. So a lot of people don't ever start. Um, life gets into the get gets in the way. Sometimes it's just as simple that well, a lot of people is that they think it has to be perfect, and they're afraid not to make any mistakes in order for them to do it, and they never feel comfortable enough i don't know how much training they go through how many courses they take how many seminars they go to webinars zoom meetings or whatever they just feel uh they can't do it unless they think they can be mistake free which is so far from the truth truth about this particular business opportunity this particular investment opportunity that's one of the great things about it you don't have to be perfect in order to uh make money with it um, obviously we don't want to sit there and just commit, continue to make mistake after mistake or whatever. But the great thing about mistakes are they're learning experiences that probably are more valuable than anything that I can teach you. Now, sometimes, um, life can get in the way. You may not have an encouraging family member, spouse, significant other, whatever you got going on. And sometimes that can be a hindrance. You know, I, I'm glad I've never had to cross that bridge or whatever. So, I'm personally, I'm not going to deal with someone that's not going to believe in what I'm doing. I just, I'm just not. Now, I know everybody's situation is not difficult. It may be dependent on an, another person for financial reasons or whatever it is, and that may not be an option for you or whatever. At this time, I'll just say that. It always, you always change the situation. Um, but uh, so hopefully that's not the situation where you'd have someone discouraging you then the main thing is on that, just stop talking about it. If they're not, uh, just stop talking about it. When you when your actions produce results, meaning check paydays, um, that same person that went and listened said you were crazy, it's illegal or whatever, watch how they change on you. It's just amazing or whatever. So um, at the end of the day, uh, there are going to be a lot of reasons that could be stopping you from doing this. But uh, if a guy like myself can do this, if you really knew me, you would know that you can do it. So uh, you got the tool, you got the education, uh, just make it happen. So you're here to hopefully continue on that process of getting some questions answered. So let's get it. Welcome back, TikTok. Hopefully I won't get suspended again. I don't really know why. I think I know why, but... Um, Stop yeah. clowning me. <laughs> oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I said, that's, that's what he was. That's that's it to him. They said it to me. Yeah. I don't have no idea why that's got into my my chain of uh, for you. For my for you page on TikTok. All right. The first question is on Instagram. Um, is cash for keys good to use if I want a tenant out? Yeah, that's going to be my first option is to try to pay them to leave. It'll be my first option. All right. This person said, yo, I have a question about texting. Great to see you guys. Um, my skill vault list isn't downloading into batch leads. Um, one number came from it. Mm, that's going to be a technical thing. Uh, I would recommend you highly reach out to support and, um, uh, someone will walk you through that process. Okay. Um, don't forget, if you want to get your question answered on live, you can text the word GATOR to 205-964-5243, and we'll send you the link so you can join. But you have to have your mic and your camera turned on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Um, the first one is from Kalinda Gamble I have on here from YouTube. She said, I found an Airbnb in Wisconsin. Um, has a five bedroom, five bath, pool, access lake in the back of the house. It takes 14 people. It's booked up for the summer. You'll make 70 or 80K. They did landscaping to it. I'm not sure what you're asking. 
Are you trying to see if it's a good deal? I fa- she said, yeah. I found a two bedroom house. One bath needs a new roof. She wants 15000 but I talked her down to 12000 Or should I go with ten? Whatever amount she'll she'll take. Okay, Kalinda. Um, okay, in, in the process of determining if you have a deal or not, um, A for effort for reaching out to someone, but I sort of want to halt people from doing that when they still are not too sure about the process. All right, to know if you have an opportunity or not, uh, Kalinda, you, am I saying that right? Mm-hmm. Um, you got to know what the ARV is. That 10000 may be uh, 12000 even that 15000 may be the deal of a lifetime. If the ARV is, we'll say, 130 only needs 30 in repairs, that would be just a smoking deal. But if the ARV is only 50 and the repairs are 30, that's not a deal. You have to know what the ARV is. You know, but that's why I have all the videos. Um, if you do a search for Flipman Comps 101, going to be 29 episodes of that of us comping properties. If you do a search for Flipman Pro Comp Like a Pro, I explain how to do an ARV. Uh, uh, then you can use the deal calculator. You should always go to dealulator.com. If you don't know what I'm saying, it's on my shirt. Dealulator.com and use the calculator there. That tells you if you have an opportunity. It gives you a general idea if you have an opportunity or not. So I, my point is, because I'm not valuing any credit, I don't have enough information to tell you if you have a deal there. You're just giving me prices. We have to know what the ARV is of the property. And then, you know, then we can work with repairs, but definitely got to know the ARV. She said down here, I always ask what the ARV is. You don't ask um, the seller. Well, yeah, you, you've got to determine it. You, you got to determine yourself, yourself. The seller may be dead right, but you still got to fact check it for yourself. You got to do your own due diligence on that. All right, uh, DJ Chief uh, from YouTube said, I'm excited about this knowledge. Um, we got people just saying, hey, let's go. Omar Robinson from Facebook said, much respect. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Yes, sir, Omar. Thanks for joining us. Um, Eric Carney from Facebook said, what's up, Flipanthropist and the ladies with Flipness? He said, do you have a particular schedule you follow to keep you on track? I feel like I'm all over the place and getting very little done. Mm, I somewhat feel that way sometimes, but uh, part of the reason why you hear these young ladies here, or well, a huge part of it, is to keep on track or whatever. So, but even before they existed, um, I would make myself notes, you know, maybe in my phone, uh, set myself reminders, I need to do this or that. Um, some people love to write stuff down. You may have a, a whiteboard or a blackboard or whatever to uh, somewhat keep your progress a calendar. There's so many tools out there to um, identify what you need to do on this date and that date. Again, everybody has a different process on how they manage uh, their time and what needs to be done. Um, you just got to probably just figure out what's, you know, what works for you based on your current schedule and what you're obligated to do right now. So, And what, as far as marketing, especially if you're struggling to uh, find deals, just focus in on maybe one or two methods of marketing. And so you won't have to worry about all the other stuff and then you add on to it as as they seem to provide some success and some payday, so. All right, back to Instagram. Um, I'm guessing they asking for advice. They said lack of income, I'm getting paid, but not enough to put in the marketing um, without feeling hurt. So what could they possibly do? So they saying they don't have enough money to do marketing. Okay, so. Now, there are some free ways to, to do this um, as far as generating leads, possibly starting to put deals together. Um, what was that number? You don't know. Okay, so um, um, well, you could uh, start. Tim. You know, who? Tim. You think I? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm waiting on his call. Okay. Um, I just I got, got to call him back. Um, so, um, um, what I'm trying to say the free ways. Oh yeah. So you could wholesale other wholesalers properties, um, but starts with building a cash buyers list. Free ways to do that is use Google to reach out, research out, uh, just people that, or 
We're spending a lot of money advertising on Google. Uh, they have a strong SEO presence there, meaning they're in the first couple of pages of results. Uh, you can start there with as potential buyers. And from there, you will find other wholesalers deals on Facebook, Craigslist, uh, Facebook groups, um, Facebook marketplace, uh, banner signs in the area. Um, you know, you'll find those properties. So you just match the two. Now, um, I'm not sure when you say you have very little income now, according to what they're saying, and I believe it, there's a, there's a, what they call it? Um, when you have a shortage of people that want to work, um, shortage of workers, <laughs> not a shortage of jobs, but the other, you mean, yeah. we got jobs. So why not pick up a part-time job to, to fund your business, but what prevents you from doing that? We're only talking a few hundred dollars. All right, you kind of already answered this, but I wanted to just exit. Uh, this is on Instagram and TikTok. What are the basic steps? And you kind of just went over that, though. Okay. What are the basic steps I need to take to involve in wholesome real estate? Pretty much what you just said. Okay. And then somebody also said, "Nice mic, better than before." <laughs> I don't think they were throwing shade. <laughs> I don't think it was throwing shade. What do we have up there? I think we have before. What do we have before? Oh, oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is on Instagram. How can I tell how much to offer a cash or key? Um. Well, I'm gonna start at five hundred. Right. Um. I got in my mind a thousand of. A, 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 and then it depends how much money you're about to make on the deal also because you're only going to pay them ideally when you get paid now you may have to front some moving money or actually do some moving yourself to assist them or whatever move for a moving truck maybe a, a storage unit so you may have to do that so that may be i don't know a hundred to three hundred dollars just to do that depending on if you have to do the moving yourself or whatever so um but yeah, that, that, it's really, it depends on how much money you're going to make. All right. How much is your course or how do they find out? Um, just text me. I, I'll text because it changes. So just text me. Got a lot of stuff going on right now. So with that, so just text me on the number on the board. All right. Diamond Thomas said, how do you, how do you negotiate the absolute least for, from a seller? The, the least amount? Mm hmm um, so I just was sort of going through that a moment ago. Somebody responded to a, uh, a letter we sent. They text me, text us, and um, they wanted me to make an offer. So <laughs> this is how I do it. It still didn't work. But uh, normally what I do, I say, well, in order to answer that question, I need to, which is true, I need to, so a little bit more information about the property. So ideally what I'm trying to do is to get me to get them the number one, tell me about the property, but also like, yeah, it is messed up. <laughs> you know, it, it, it is, it is, uh, hey, it is, it does need some work or whatever. So, but, and so after they, I asked them first, um, was it vacant, rented or vacant? This all through text message, uh, rented or vacant. They said it was vacant. I was like, uh, has it had any recent uh, updates or renovations? They said, no, no. And then I said, uh, in your opinion, what's the overall condition of the property? And they started talking about this plaster, the roof might need some work, blah, 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 whatever. So then, even though they asked me to make an offer, I said, well, paying, I said, okay, great. Well, paying all cash and closing quickly, what's the least amount you'll accept for it? And so they were like, well, we're just taking bids on it, which was their original, sort of their original statement when they text me. So they didn't waver. You know, but ideally, when once I do that, normally they'll tell me. But this is what they still did. So I already had a number in my mind that I was going to offer, but I, well, I didn't just want to say that off the top from the initial message. I wanted to build some dialogue and plus get some information about the property. So I offered them ten grand. She said, "No, we'll we'll try to get a loan ourselves and fix it up." I say, "Well, if anything changes, let me know." So, or whatever. But normally, that's the process. Is what I'm what I'm just telling you. I'm trying to get them to open up to basically talk themselves into giving me a price that's probably going to work for me. You know, there's, there's a lot of ways to go about it, but that's normally how I'll do it. So.
All right, Anthony McKee said, what's up, Footman? Do you send your contract to the buyer before the earnest deposit or after? What, what was it? Say it Do again. you send the contract to the buyer before the earnest money deposit or after? Before the earnest money deposit, do I send my contracts to the buyer before the earnest money? No, you don't send them a contract before they send earnest money. Normally. Yeah. Normally. Yeah. <laughs> um, JJ from YouTube said buyer and seller signed the contract. The buyer signed the contract without seeing the property. After he saw the property, he decided it was too much work and no longer wants the property. And the seller now wants to sue me. Why would the seller want to sue you? Yeah. You, you, um, because that only should have just meant, okay, I need to find another buyer. You got mm -hmm. to give us a little more information. Sue you for what? How are they going to sue you if you got it under contract? I don't know. He's still, you, you still have an opportunity to perform. Yeah, he can go see it. Well, no, that's, that's not uncommon. But, but he shouldn't have did that. He's, he, 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 shouldn't, he shouldn't have, yeah, um, I don't know if he saw pictures or not, but I wouldn't even put it in, I wouldn't even put it in the contract with him, you know, until he mm -hmm. saw it. You know, normally, normally I don't do it unless somebody already dealt, done, done business with. Normally I don't do that. Yeah. Right. Um, Denise Turnipseed uh, from YouTube said, even off-market houses in Georgia, have multiple offers. How do I find motivated sellers? So you've targeted every property in Georgia? <laughs> no, that's, that's not possible. I'm not being funny. Well, I'm trying to. Denise, um, it, no, 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 no. Keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. That's not possible. All right. Because everybody don't want to sell. And then the timing of it. Just because you called me today doesn't mean I want to sell today, but something happened in my life. Two weeks from now, oh, I need to sell. No, don't, no, no, Denise, it doesn't work that way. I'm not sure how many people you've contacted. You can give us an idea on that, but you say everybody in Georgia, you're talking about just in the Atlanta area, you're talking six million people, over four to six million people. Come on now. Yeah, he, but you ain't, I'm saying like, you, you're not giving me enough information like what what see the seller and the buyer they they may have met but they would have met under the pretense this is one of my capital buyers right now if you all went through the clothing process but it sounds like the guy canceled the agreement immediately or whatever so that they the seller shouldn't even know that that that's what i'm getting to the seller shouldn't even know that you know you moving on to another buyer they talk too much. I already know what it is. <laughs> I already know what it is. All right. This is on Instagram. How do you normally deal with tenants? Well, that's sort of what we were talking about with the cash for keys. But, you know, some tenants are good tenants. They're paying market rent. The, the, the owner, the person you're trying to buy the property from has good documentation of their rental, rental history. And so they call that turnkey property. Now, some investors will be turned off because they just buy, fix, and flip. And even when some investors that buy, uh, fix, and hold, you know, rentals, they may not, they still may want it. But there's another group of investors that prefer those types of properties that uh, if it has a tenant, they're paying the market rent, they have a long-term lease, hey, I'm just buying and just start receiving cash flow on it. So it just depends on the situation. But if a situation where you're trying to get them to lease, what we explained a moment ago, you, ideally, the first thing you're going to do is pay them to leave. But if that's not the situation, then that's a, a could be a negotiating um, um, benefit to you to get the property even cheaper to deal with that headache of getting them out of there. Matter of fact, uh, I hadn't even mentioned this. A lady um, did an interview earlier this morning, a uh, young lady out of uh, uh, Indiana that uh, had a $52,000 payday. Uh, hopefully I'll get that. I have time to get that video edited. And that's basically how she found her tenant, uh, her buyer. I mean, a motivated seller where she had talked to him a year ago when COVID first hit. But after a year later, not getting paid, he was just going to just just let the house go. And she made him an offer. You know, he took it. She, you know, 
he took it so fast. When they take it so fast, you're like, oh, I could offer less or whatever. So, um, but anyway, um, it, it was a situation where he had gotten, it had been, had been over a whole year with him, without him getting paid. So, you know, because of COVID and the moratorium, I think the way to say that, that's in place. So, all right. Hopefully, I answered that. I don't feel like. All right. Um, this is on Instagram as well. When getting books on the ground, how much do you pay that person for uh, taking pictures, et cetera? Uh, and do I pay up front or after a deal is closed? If you get someone just to take pictures, you know, you're going to pay them as soon as it happens uh, for the most part. You may pay them before or after. I don't know. But um, just depending on how you found them. Um, but if you're needing someone to like, um, show up because the seller won't provide access to the property or if it's occupied by a renter or the seller themselves. But you, the, you, when you're showing to the buyers, you need someone there to represent your interest, then um, they're doing half the deal, <laughs> basically. So, um, but it's up to you. Know, but normally they're doing that much. You know, I'm willing to, to give up at least 50. So. All right. Um, how do you feel about the Baltimore market? It's a great market. A lot of opportunity there. Okay. Hey, Flip Man, is the box man here? The who? The box man. The box man. Oh, it's the box man here. Oh, my man. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Amazon box guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. He said, hey, Flip Man, it's the box man here. Can you talk a little bit about subject twos? Is that something wholesale, wholesale can lead to? Uh, well, Subject two is really not my lane. You're on Instagram. So look up uh, Pace Morby, P-A-C-E, Morby, M-O-R-B-Y. That's more his lane. Just tell him I sent you. All right. This one came from Equity Off Market on YouTube. They said, I have a deal that's set for closing on Friday. Me and the seller agreed to and signed the contract for 65K two months ago. I found a buyer for 97K. Um, the seller just called and said she doesn't want to sell anymore unless she gets 90K. Um, outsiders got in her ear and told her that she needs more. They also said, as a new wholesaler who isn't getting consistent deals yet, what would you do? And how much is the buyer getting? I mean, how much um, the buyer said he would uh, sell it to him for? They I'm, said that the buyer. They found a buyer for 97K. They signed a contract for 65K. Well, what I would try to do with her, i say, Miss Johnson, I don't know what her name is. Miss Johnson, now, you know you signed this contract for 65000 Don't Right, do you me. always ever in the country. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, don't do me like that. I say, now, what I'll do, all right, let's do this, right? I said, I'll say, uh, I'm willing to go up more. Would you meet me? I don't know what halfway, what is that, 25, 12? Would you meet me halfway at about 78? That's where I start. Right. Now I don't want 90. I say, no, come on, man. You know, so I'm, I'm trying to, that's part of the reason why you build rapport. So I'm trying, I'll take that 90 because that's still a $7,000 payday. Right. I'll take the 90. But I'm trying to get her down. To, the more I can get her down back closer to that 65, the more I'm going to make. I would offer the 70 first. Yeah, you know, I, that, the, yeah, I, well, you're right, Jessica. I might as well start at 70 and just so worked nice. up or whatever. But I'll go to the 90 mm -hmm. not to lose the deal. What's half a zero? So have that to happen, you know, so. Um, <laughs> Come on, Mr. Come on, Mr. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Darius Christian said, should I open escrow before or after I find a buyer? Thanks for all the content, Flipman. Uh, after. Because okay. the buyer may not want to use who you use. Okay. Gabby Griffin TV said, I've been trying to wholesale land. Do you have any tips on speaking to contractors or large builder companies? What kind of things should you ask? Um, well, no. Um, actually, that lady signed a contract on that lot. Not even sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking we're getting houses for that. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, um, uh, well, I well, if you talk about contractors and builders, then you're going to be talking about areas where there's development, right? 
Okay, that, that's simple. Now you can just research recent development, see who bought it, and you just you just do your due diligence. Okay, that those are easy. But what about in the areas where there's no development? So that, that's where the issue will come in with a lot of land. Okay, Rhonda T from YouTube said, good afternoon, Footman and crew. I'm currently at the eight to four, but sneaking in on the video. Oh, that's what I said, man. Hey, get paid, get paid, get, let them pay, pay, to, yeah, pay to learn, pay to be educated. That's what's happening. All right, Denise Turnip C said, the, um, she's the one who said um, in Georgia, yeah. she can't find anybody. Um, she said, the homeowners that I've been reaching, I have multiple offers. I guess they've already had multiple yeah, offers. Uh -huh. I've been cold calling, but I don't want to reach these people. Yeah, it's going to be impossible uh, not to reach some people that others have already reached out to. Right now, the area you may target, you may need to get outside your comfort zone and target a different area. Right, but I wouldn't say not continue to target that area because a lot of times just timing, Denise. Trust me, and, and we can just think about our own situations, right? Um, what can I use? Um, well, fem women, females. Women. Women, yeah, females, women, the same thing. Isn't it? Um, but um, you all change your hair some quite, quite often. Two weeks ago, you liked this hairstyle. <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you don't or whatever. So, you know, that's life too. You know, two weeks ago when uh, I called that same person that you called two weeks later, um, now um, they need a new transmission in their car. And if they decide they're going to buy a brand new car, whatever they're going to do. But they really don't have any money, but they do have this house that they just been sitting on and it needs a lot of work. And they just been sitting on like people do. You like to have, like I say, people have just junk cars and y'all more fixing them. I'm gonna fix it. They ain't never going to fix it or whatever. And just junk it up the neighborhood. That's the same thing they do with a house. And so now when you call them because they need repair on the car now and they said they're just going to buy a new one. OK, your timing is perfect now. So it's just the numbers game. Just be consistent. Denise, and you'll get your deal is the point I'm trying to make. I'm trying not to use anything like this earth straddling detrimental, you know, like death or something. We'll use a uh -huh. new transmission or a new car. So um we went in 41 said, What's good, family? Hope all is well in your area after that nasty weather. Raining right it's now. Tender right now. Can, can y'all hear it? Uh I'm not sure how to say this name, but it's from YouTube. They said, I think I would need someone to hold my hand through the whole process versus, versus reading about it. Um, that's where my confidence would build. Well, we would all love to do that. Uh, sometimes that's not an option or whatever. So what you have to do is take what's available to you. But that's why you're here. Um, you know, I can't, you know, I don't have limited on the time I can do this, but I know with my platforms, um, we try to answer as many questions as possible. And I, you know what? Well, we don't say this enough. You probably could uh, get a lot of your questions answered by just reading the comments of previous YouTube videos. That's part of the reason why I send people there, because I can answer those at my leisure when I'm just not. I might be sitting, waiting at a, a restaurant to be seated or whatever.